I'm going to discuss some key themes that pharma biotech firms need to be aware of once it has become clear that a step change in GMP compliance is needed. I'll explain how to ensure your firm can detect and deal with these risks ahead of a GMP inspection, and also how best to react if a national regulatory inspection identifies critical or major GMP observations at your plant. These are the five key areas that could keep your facility perpetually GMP inspection ready. Firstly, refresh and upgrade your internal auditing program. Secondly, set standards of behaviour and company culture that embraces change and drives problems to the surface. Also, ensure your subject matter experts undergo rigorous and periodic professional development. Fourthly, use ICHQ9 to drive your quality planning and risk mitigation activities. And finally, when it has all gone wrong, don't paper over the issues. Seek a deep understanding of the systems and behaviours that led to the GMP non-conformance and put in long-term sustainable solutions. Remember, undetected GMP deficiencies always surface at a bad time and always cost more money than doing the right thing the first time round. So let's look at each of the five issues in turn. Internal audit programs can go stale very quickly if they aren't refreshed with better methodologies, new staff and new audit scopes. Audit shouldn't start and end at shop floor housekeeping. It should look hard at the system that defines the manufacturing process and then considers these three questions. Is this process going to give me the quality attributes I need? Is it documented in a way that proves the desired outcomes were achieved? And is it simple, demonstrably in line with CGMPs and error-proofed? So aside from auditing, how else do you detect GMP non-conformances before they become crises? Ask yourself, do your senior staff walk the job and seek out best practice and recognise it? And conversely, do they seek out non-conformances and tackle them there and then? Do your staff accept and act on constructive guidance, using the information as a way of making their best even better? And of course, how useful is your corporate quality audit function? Does it really pay its way? So what about your firm's quality mindset? Does it embrace deviations, accept audit observations and use feedback as a way to improve? Or conversely, does it seek to defend the status quo? Are your department's performance metrics driving behaviours that naturally seek improvements? Or are they just company wallpaper or good news stories prepared for senior management? How do you, as a manager or leader in your organisation, project your values? How would your team describe your commitment to GMP and your vision for quality? Are you consistent in your messaging, even when under pressure? And what do your trade-offs say about your commitment to do the right thing? Remember, quality management systems define product quality, but it's people and their day-to-day -day choices that really make all the difference. So how can you keep your people engaged? How can you keep people aligned to the quality management system, yet also able to constructively challenge the norms? Training is key, but education, understanding the know why and the know how is absolutely critical. Acting without knowledge is like driving home in the dark without the headlights on, just don't do it. Knowing the science and compliance behind every process step, every process check and every GMP activity allows people to focus on four key elements of perpetual GMP readiness. These are flawless execution of the process, accurate and timely documentation of each activity, accurate and timely risk identification, escalation and investigation, and finally, proportionate, effective, corrective and preventive actions. ICHQ9 Quality Risk Management and its application in your workplace can make a phenomenal difference to your operation as it allows you to focus on areas of risk, differentiating high and low priorities so that you can apply your finite resources to the areas of most concern. Studies show that firms who are active experts in ICHQ9 
rarely get into choppy water with the regulators as they have naturally preempted and dealt with the major areas of concern ahead of any GMP inspection. Also, their cappers provide a return on investment and prevent costly repeat issues. Those that don't embrace ICHQ9 stick their head in the sand and wait to be found out. And finally, when it has all gone wrong, what can I do? In my experience, there are four key steps. Accept the reality of the situation and help your colleagues get there quickly too. Use a trusted GMP consultant to evaluate each concern. Move fast to correct and prevent any recurrence, always focusing on the system that keeps you in compliance, not just the individual who could have acted differently. Put in place long-term checks to ensure GMP compliance is enhanced or at least maintained and use third parties to verify that GMP has been truly embedded. Seek expert input into the areas that appear hard to resolve. Don't forget NSF has seen it all before. We've been in these shoes and we've turned around a multitude of tough situations. Our expertise can help you to preempt quality or GMP risks and define effective improvement projects to ensure perpetual inspection readiness. We can help you deal with FDA consent decrees and warning letters, MHRA inspection action group referrals, and help you to take action on critical, major or systemic GMP deficiencies. We can help realign, rebuild, re-educate and refresh your management team, your network of subject matter experts or your qualified persons. We can help manage regulatory action, advise on correspondence and ensure commitments are completed on time in full. We can provide excellent support to your inspection or remediation plan, getting you back on track as soon as possible. Our GMP remediation service works because it focuses on root cause. It leaves a sustainable set of legacy processes and it leaves your staff equipped to prevent any form of recurrence. We leave you prepared to face the future, the right people, the right solution, the first time.